Hey, what's up YouTube? Hope everyone's having a nice day. I'm just making a quick follow-up video here since I am currently getting loaded at the shipper and due to popular demand of two people, uh, I have created a follow-up video to my first, which is the bypassing of Verizon's throttling, um, which is in layman terms, just being able to use fast data after you've used your 15 gigs of a loud hotspot or even 30 gigs if you have the more expensive plan. Um, so just to show you guys really quick here, um, this I'm signed into my Verizon. Um, I've used almost 310 gigs for my cycle and I've still got three or eight days left um, for that. Um, as far as connection right now, I'm in Goodyear, Arizona. I have, I believe, if not full bars, close to full bars here. I'm using an iPhone 11 Pro Max, if that matters. Um, I'll just do a quick speed test. I mean, pretty good speeds versus 500 kilobytes if you had used up all your data, right? In perspective, that's half of a megabyte so this is at least i don't know, do the math definitely more than 10 times <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna sound dumb but for sure 10 times more anyway um as far as just i wanted to make this video for clarification because i know people had questions you know am i gonna get charged for this um is verizon gonna come after me are they gonna be pissed um I've consistently used more than 200 gigs of data per month. I've not gotten a call from Verizon. I've not gotten a letter or anything like that um, saying, hey, quit using all that data. It's unlimited and I pay a large amount for the service, which I enjoy, um, but it's definitely uh, a luxury to have Verizon, I would say. Um, so I'm just making the most of it. Uh, it's not going to be, you know, something that everyone might want to use if they have an ISP, you know, like fast Wi-Fi at home. Uh, but for someone like myself who drives a semi for a living, is out and about and doesn't have their uh, home Wi-Fi connection uh, with 200 plus megs per second or whatever, um, then there's a nice alternative or another nice uh, option is if you live in a rural area where there's no ISP availability um, this will definitely help you out so anyway just uh, I guess I'll update this in the meantime it's an update for Call of Duty Cold War 700 megabytes um, let's see so let's start in a second uh, yep there it goes it's already got three megs down, so I mean, pretty good, and it's climbing too. Uh, it's staying around 10 megs per second. So, anyway, to the clarification here, um, your requirements are going to be Verizon, a uh, Verizon uh, device that's on Verizon's network. I've heard some people are using Visible. I don't have Visible. I can't test it. But apparently it's on Verizon's network, so in theory it should work for this as well. Um, doesn't matter if you have an Android or an iPhone, as long as it can broadcast the hotspot to a computer, uh, specifically a Windows PC, 7, 8, or 10. I have Windows 10 on mine, and that's what I have to show you guys. I don't have a Mac, so I'm sorry for you Mac users. Google is a hell of a tool. I would suggest looking up a method for that. Anyway. What you want to do first is turn on your hotspot on your device and then connect to it, just as I am here. Once you're connected to it, you want to open up the command prompt. Easiest way to do so is open up the start menu, start typing in command. Depending on the Windows version, you can right click here and it'll give you these options. Um, essentially, you just want to run it as an administrator. Once you're running it as an administrator, it'll open up this black screen here and uh, you'll want to enter this command prompt right here. Um, just to clarify, 
no spaces um, before the N, no spaces after the 65. Um, unfortunately, you cannot copy and paste into the command prompt as far as I know. So we're just going to do it old school. Um, so N E T S H space I N T space I P V four space set space glob space default cur hop limit equal to 65. All right, and I will include this uh, this command line in the description of the video so you guys have it as well and you don't have to pause it here if you don't want to. So all you'll do from there once it's typed in is you find your enter key like I did here and then you click enter. It'll load very quickly and it'll say okay. Now, for clarification, you don't have to do this every single time uh, you open up your computer. It is only if you restart your computer or if it turns off. If if it's been rebooted, uh, you'll need to re-enter the command prompt. But if you simply close your computer and then it went to sleep or whatever and you open it back up, you'll still have the command prompt enabled and will not have to re-enter it. So once that's taken care of, you will have the fast speed. Now, one thing I realized <clears throat> when using this Although you're broadcasting a hotspot signal from uh, your phone and it's being received by the computer, um, Verizon is only detecting that your phone itself is using the data. So essentially, it thinks that you're just using your phone, you know, uh, data constantly rather than the hotspot being used uh, on a massive amount such as mine is. Um, so yeah, I mean it's pretty sweet I use it every single day today is April the 4th of uh, 2021 and my laptop is really dusty I know um, quick side note since my last video I did update my screen I don't know if you guys can tell I did have 24 inch really old um, Polaroid TV which was decent um, I mean, it had 1080p, but it just was really old and the edges like cut off uh, some of my games and, and you know, etc. So I just figured it was time to upgrade. Uh, this was about 170 after tax, got it at Walmart. Um, and it's about as big as you can get with, if you guys are, you know, semi drivers, uh, Freightliner Cascadia, and this is a 2020 model. So with the wall mount that's already included, you can mount this guy on there. Uh, the only downside is um, it doesn't come with speakers. Fix to that is get yourself a long auxiliary cord, plug it straight into the stereo, and then you have surround sound, and it sounds quite nice. Uh, aside from that, like I mentioned, I don't believe you guys have anything to fear as far as Verizon being upset with us using this amount of data because like I said I've used it for at least three months now con uh, consistently surpassing 200 gigs um, and have yet to be you know notified of an additional fee or anything like that it is unlimited so yada yada um, <clears throat> if you guys have any questions just like in my first video I'll uh, try to get to all of them um, as far as any other uh, suggestions for videos um, I'll gladly uh, you know consider any additional video suggestions like if you guys want to <clears throat> know what else my setup includes or whatever or I don't know you guys let me know if you're interested in the content um, I'll try to provide it whenever I'm not working um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I certainly hope this clarified any questions from the first one. And uh, yep, just go ahead and have yourself a wonderful day now. Bye-bye.